Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about colorectal cancer. Also called colon cancer or rectal cancer according to the situation of that particular cancer. So it is a type of cancer that starts in the colon, that means large intestine or in the rectum. Rectum is also a part of the large intestine. Colorectal cancer is a common cancer in men and women in the United States. This is a disease in which epithelial and glandular cells in the colon or rectum grow out of control. So, this is starting from epithelial cells, even from the glandular epithelial cells or surface epithelial cells. So, this is a case of adenocarcinoma. It is mostly occur from the epithelial cells of the glands of the, of the large intestine. In 2020, in the United States, 126,240 new cases of colon and rectum cancer were reported and 51,869 people died of this cancer. For every 1,000 people, 33 new colon and for every 100,000 people, 33 new colon and rectum cancer cases were reported and 13 people died of that of this cancer. Okay, so this is the statistics from CDC, Center for Disease Control. Risk factors for colon cancer or colorectal cancer is the risk of colorectal cancer increases with age, especially after the age of 50. As the age advances, more chance of getting colorectal cancer. Family history, individuals with a family history of colorectal cancer or certain genetic syndrome are at a higher risk. Personal history, having a history of inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis increases the risk. Lifestyle factors, poor diet, lack of physical activity, obesity, smoking and excessive alcohol consumption associated with higher risk. Also diet, diet containing meat, animal meat, have, it increases the chance of getting colon cancer. So animal fat, animal, I mean the meat, red meat, okay, that may that may work for, for, for development of the colorectal cancer. Pathogenesis colorectal cancer, the pathogenesis of colon cancer is complex and multifactorial process involving genetic, environmental and lifestyle factor. Key aspects of pathogenesis of colon cancer, genetic factor, hereditary syndrome, certain hereditary syndrome such as familial adenomatous polyposis and lean syndrome, hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer or HNPCC are associated with an increased risk of colon cancer. These conditions are caused by mutation in specific genes like APC gene in FAP, FAP means familial adenomatous polyposis and mismatch repair okay like that of the Lynch syndrome repair genes in Lynch syndrome sporadic mutation in the majority of the cases colon cancer develops sporadically due to the accumulation of genetic mutation over time mutation in key genes such as APC KRAS, TP53 and other can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and the formation of tumor.
ओके एक और डेट सो दिस इज एन इमेज फ्रॉम रोबिन्स क्वार्टर्स pathologic basis of disease we are looking mucosa submucosa muscularis mucosa this is mucosa submucosa muscularis propria so this is normal colon colon at risk here here methylation of the maltis inactivation of the normal alleles second hit apc beta catenin okay here germlum inherited of somatic acquired mutation of cancer suppressor gene first hit then proto oncogen mutation keras at 12 p12 then homozygous loss of additional cancer suppressor gene over expression of cox2 here additional mutation gross chromosomal alteration here here telomeres other cancer genes Pathogenesis is a colloidal cancer, molecular pathway, adenoma, carcinoma sequence. The majority of colon cancer arise from precursor lesion called adenoma. This progression from adenoma to carcinoma is known as adenoma carcinoma sequence. Mutation in specific genes such as APC leads to development of adenomas and additional mutation in genes like KRAS TP53. contribute to the transformation of adenomas into cancerous tumors microsatellite instability msi some colon cancer exhibit microsatellite instability which is characterized by error in repetition of short dna sequences this instability can result from mutation in mismatch repair genes and is commonly seen in lynch syndrome so you got the molecular pathway of colloidal cancer formation here normal colon sessile or serrated adenoma then accumulated mutation in genes that regulate growth differentiation and apoptosis okay so this is the carcinoma here this is a sessile serrated adenoma here In this condition, okay. So this is a mismatch repair pathway of colon carcinogenesis. Okay, colorectal cancer symptoms. Common symptoms include changes in bowel habit, blood in the stool. We call it hemoptysia. Abdominal, maybe melena sometimes or hemoptysia. fresh blood or the altered blood abdominal discomfort or pain unexplained weight loss and fatigue digital rectal examination can detect rectal cancer in 50% of cases however early stage colorectal cancer may not present with noticeable symptoms highlighting the importance of screening so screening is very essential Colorectal cancer usually develops slowly over several years, beginning as a non-cancerous polyp that can eventually turn into cancer. We just learned that part. Differential diagnosis: How will confuse with colorectal cancer with other diseases like diverticular diseases that also happens in the large intestine usually. strictures irritable bowel syndrome inflammatory bowel disease like crohn's disease ulcerative colitis adhesion cyst abscesses and metastatic cancer these are the differential diagnoses of colorectal cancer so how can we screen and diagnose colorectal cancer okay Regular screening is crucial for detecting colorectal cancer early when it is more treatable. Common screening methods include colonoscopy, very popular in the United States, sigmoscopy, fecal occult blood test and stool DNA test. Complete blood count 
liver function test, plasma carcino embryonic antigen study. This is a tumor marker, CT scanning of the abdomen, ultrasonography, barium follow through, PET scanning. PET scanning we may get the slice of tissue okay, in different angle that may help us to go through the diagnosis. Okay. Treatment. Treatment option depends on the stage of the cancer and they may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy and immunotherapy. Surgery is often the primary treatment and it may involve removing the tumor and nearby lymph nodes. Okay. Prevention, adopting a healthy lifestyle including balanced diet, rich in fiber, regular exercise, avoiding tobacco, excessive alcohol can help reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Screening for colorectal cancer is essential, especially for individuals with the risk factors or those over the age of 50. Prognosis, the prognosis of colorectal cancer varies depending on the stage at the diagnosis, early detection and treatment significantly improve the chances of, say, of successful outcomes. Okay.